Weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Candace King. Sunshine out there for us this afternoon, and that sun will continue here as we go through this evening. A live look with our Mercy House Sky Track camera out of the Rochelle Airport. We've had some of those cumulus clouds kind of pop up with the heating of the day here uh, for us, but most of us have been dry for this afternoon. It's been warm though. Temperatures have made it into the mid and upper 80s, and the heat index has made it feel more like the low 90s in some spots. But we have had a little bit of a breeze, but you can definitely feel the mugginess in the air, and that summer-like pattern is going to continue with the heat and humidity, at least for these next several days. That'll take us through the end of this month and for the beginning of July. This means we've got storm chances pretty much every single day, which is very typical for a summer-like pattern. Low risk for severe weather. However, some of those thunderstorms could have some gusty winds and even some localized heavy rain like we've had here these past couple of days. Uh, that would be our greatest concern with any thunderstorms that do de develop. Current temperatures right now 84 degrees in Rochelle feels more like 90, 86 here in Rockford with a current heat index of 91. That dew point temperature, our measure of how much moisture we have in the atmosphere, sitting now in the upper 60s and low 70s. So a very tropical-like air mass overhead. And we've actually got a boundary, a stationary boundary. It's not very strong, but that's focused a little more to our south. You can see those dew point numbers still in the lower 70s to our south. So a lot of kind of uh, moisture streaming in across much of the Midwest and the Plains. But as that boundary pulls northward, what that's going to do is increase that dew point temperature. So we're going to keep those dew points in the low to mid 70s tomorrow. And if our temperatures make it to 90 degrees tomorrow, it could feel more like 100 during the afternoon. Low uh, 70s for the dew point on Tuesday. But once we start to shift our wind around more to the east and northeast later this week, we'll still keep the heat, but we'll lose some of that humidity. Now, we did have a couple of showers and a few isolated thunderstorms storms pop up over northern DeKalb County and then out to our east uh, earlier this afternoon, but those really started to fizzle out. We've got a few showers back off to the southwest, tied into an area of low pressure now lifting into southwest Minnesota. Here's that stationary boundary down to our south, and this will actually be pulled northward as we go through the night tonight. So with that northward shift, we actually get a slight increase in the chance for some showers and thunderstorms in some spots as we go through the morning hours tomorrow. As that boundary sits overhead tomorrow afternoon, we're actually going to increase the chance for some showers and thunderstorms. Again, low risk for any severe weather, but any of these that form tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening could very well have some heavy rainfall, localized heavy rain, and even some localized strong wind gusts with them, too. We'll kind of see that fade away a little bit Monday night going into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, we start off dry, and then we actually get a little area of low pressure that'll work in Tuesday afternoon and Tuesday evening, and that'll increase that chance for some showers and thunderstorms as we go through our Tuesday evening. Behind that, or I should say after that, we get this ridge of high pressure that develops off to our west. This will start to build in for the 4th of July weekend, and uh, if we stay rain-free, could bring our temperatures well into the 90s for this upcoming Saturday and Sunday. So 71 degrees for us tonight, high temperature tomorrow near 90, although if we see a little more cloud cover, then those numbers will stay in the 80s, but it'll It'll still stay muggy tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. You see those storm chances there, too. Uh, that will keep that uh, threat, although lessen a little bit, Hannah, by the time we get towards Thursday and Friday.